Hello guys, while reviewing one project, I saw this class card DTO with the folder app DTO and I decided to shoot this video explaining what DTO is, data transfer object based on this specific example of card. So I'll explain what that is, in what case you may want to use DTOs in your project and this is especially useful for those of you who work solo as a freelancer or your own projects and in the future you may want to get a job in a company, in a team. So for team environment and especially for bigger projects, DTO is one of those concepts that you would probably use quite often. So DTO is a general PHP class. It's not like PHP Artisan make DTO or something. You define it wherever you want. In this example, it's an app DTO specific folder. And then you define the structure for specific object. In this case, it's a card for a shop for products card. And then you define what variables, what properties are inside, the requirements for it to be required or not with question mark. And then you use that DTO everywhere in your project where something with card is performed. Let me show you. So there is a service, session service, that puts the card, the current card of the user, of the shopper, in the session. So before the order is placed, the card is in the session. So there should be some kind of structure ensuring that the session card is in correct structure, right? So in the functions of get card DTO and save card DTO, everywhere we see card DTO as a parameter type hinted, returned a new object, empty object, and also here. So this is from and to session. Then the next step is there's a live wire component, or you can consider that as a controller with private functions get and save card DTO, which are used in the add function of live wire component like this. So for example, if someone adds a discount, you first get the DTO, the current one, then you add a discount code, which is a property defined strictly here, string value, and then you save card DTO back to the session. And then finally, from session to the database, there's order service with refresh order function. And in here we get card DTO items for each and then save into the database with DB transaction. And again, the parameter of that refresh order function is card DTO type hinted with the type. So all that is done to ensure that this specific structure is passed everywhere in your project, in the session, in the liveware component, and in the database. The alternative to DTOs is just an array. For example, the card would be array. And then for example, here, instead of this get card DTO, you get session get array, then put some key in that array, like it would be card discount code or something. But then which part of the application would ensure that this key is correct, that there isn't any typo, like for example, underscore somewhere by another developer in the future. So arrays don't have any validation layer in them. And that's why I emphasized in the beginning of this video that this is for teams and for bigger projects because you write the code, for example, for that cart and shop for others to use in the future. That others may be yourself too. In three to six months, you will totally forget that code piece. But generally, this is kind of another layer of validation against any developer in the future, intentionally or unintentionally making a mistake in this data structure. So for example, if in the future someone makes this typo and then moves on with the code, see underlined immediately. With warning by PHPStorm, property not found in card DTO. If you have array here, for example, and put this as a typo, no one would even notice. And also as a bonus, you get ID autocomplete, so you may not even want to type that manually. And of course, on top of that, if someone makes a mistake and still leaves that code, the automated tests should catch that, but should catch that not at the time of the order being placed, but immediately when this method is called, which means the error would be identified earlier and potentially fixed quicker. That DTO kind of validation on PHP level reminds me a little bit of validation in the form requests of Laravel. So this is one example from one of our courses, update and you have request validated with form request class and a little bit higher here. So this is the structure for validation and no other fields would be saved in the database if they are not in the rules array. So if someone passes here in the update method some more data, they would not be passed to the database because they don't belong to the structure of the form request. It's just that the form request is used usually for validation with the controllers and DTOs are the same thing, but more globally can be used throughout every place in your application. 
Also, it reminds me a bit of a TypeScript on the front-end level. So this is an example from another course of React.js. We define the structure, the interface for the task in the TypeScript file, and then we can use that in the React component, again, ensuring additional validation, autocomplete, and more clarity for other developers. This is optional, and I have a separate video about TypeScript in the starter kit, so I will link that in the description below. But this is around the same message of extra validation with more strict structure. So generally DTOs are used in the cases where some kind of object, more complex object than just one variable, is passed in multiple places throughout your application, especially for example, like import and export from CSV, Excel or external systems. But even within your own system, for example, you have controllers, live wire components, then data in the session, then data in the database and so on. So this is a very good case for data transfer objects or sometimes they're also called value objects. So on our Laravel daily, we also have a tutorial, premium tutorial, but I will still link that in the description below about value and data transfer objects and why would you need that with another example. Also as additional resource, you may take a look at the package Spati Laravel data, very popular package with a lot of stars, which helps you basically to define those data objects like this with more useful methods. Even if you don't use that package, I would advise to get familiar with the concept of more strict data. What do you think? Anything I've missed talking about DTOs and in your projects, if you don't use DTOs now, will this video convince you to at least try? And for what case? Let me know in the comments below. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.